steps i'll now jump to the excel based model you don't need to understand excel too much it is a simple model the excel will be available as a download please note that the examples i am taking your reasoning and your expectations may be totally different from the same result it is okay i'm happy to agree to disagree so use the excel change the rating or the reading and modify the results take it only for guidance reasons for your decisions this is not investment advice let me first walk you through the structure of the model the column impacted category has instruments as well as groups like reliance adani tata bajaj where there would be price movements influenced by election results also certain topics like currency printing the overall impact on currency bond yields taxes and then the new government can have some view on rural spending what will happen to psu banks private banks defense stocks construction stocks road stocks rail stocks it stocks gold typically is a result of what happens here not a direct impact also there would be reactions from fii's either they will move out or they will move in then you could have three levels of investments you are 90% invested which means very little on cash you could be 50 50 50% in cash 50% invested and a little invested maybe your favorite stocks which you want to keep for long run 15 20% remaining cash so depending upon these categories what is likely for your portfolio don't get overwhelmed with the large number of cells here it is not going to be very tough to fill these also there are three time frames short term medium term long term which is there in these cells short term i have defined as 1 to 4 weeks which is immediate one month 6 to 12 month as medium term 3 to 5 years is debatable it could be one year three year depending upon your expectation or your time frame you could change it to the way you want like most of the models i have kept a weight by default everything has a weight of 1 you could modify it each of these cells can have five values really bad which is 1 for example if a specific government coming to power is really bad for fia investment then that value will be 1 however if a government comes and really puts lot of money into defense related spending then that will be fantastic for that sector good is one level less than fantastic less bad is one level less worse than one three is a defensive number it depends upon the government's policy typically in the medium to long run the green is an average score which is average of all these six ratings this graph will automatically populate based upon the numbers we provide in these cells let me give some examples and then i'll prefill this template with the numbers that i have put initially now my thinking also may evolve and i might change my mind and some of these values when i rethink or when i get some more inputs it's okay if you disagree with what i am saying or your values could be totally different for example i am putting a green you might want to put a red you can do all of that when you download this excel later on and change them so under the current government fii's have been exiting the country for more than a year now so i'll put a 2 here if the same government repeats fii's will continue to reduce their holdings in fact many times the government has made fii's unwelcome so in the medium term i feel this could worsen to 1 also in the longer run a 3 it will depend upon what actions government take what is the policy if there is unclear mandate there would be a huge crash in the market a lot of fii's who trade will jump to the country and take large positions which will last hardly a month or 3 months that is why in the medium term this will become a 2 in the long run it will be a 3 which means it will depend upon the policy action now there was a significant inflow into the country from fii side when the manmohan singh government was at the power for 10 years so i would put a 4 here that if the india led government especially with the congress leadership comes in power fii's may come back the investor fii is not the trader fii is then it will be a 3 which means depends upon the policy action in the long run it could be a 5 also now if the mandate is unclear and the markets crash it will be fantastic for gold and gold's run will continue in general i expect gold to do very well towards the end of this year aligned with the us elections if the india plus government comes in then gold will fall because there will be certainty same with the bjp plus there will be certainty and hence gold will fall in the short term irrespective of the governments the medium term gold is 4 and 5 in my tracker now under bjp plus the residential boom has been happening in the country that will skyrocket eventually real estate will correct it is a bubble in my opinion so it will be a 2 followed by a 1 in medium to short term in unclear mandate the bubble will burst immediately 1 1 
टू इफ इंडिया कोलिशन कम्स इन विच विल बी अ स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट देन फोर थ्री टू आई टॉक अबाउट सम स्पेसिफिक सेक्टर नाउ एंड देन आई प्रीफिल विद टेम्पलेट पी एस यू बैंक अंडर द करंट गवर्नमेंट हैव डन प्रिडी वेल फाइव हाउ आर दे विल स्टार्ट गिविंग अ लॉट ऑफ लोन्स टू इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ सो टू एंड टू इन द मीडियम टू शॉर्ट टर्म एन पी एस विल राइज अगेन हेयर आई एक्सपेक्ट पी एस यूज टू डू नॉट सो वेल बिकॉज आई सी एन पी एस रिटर्निंग फोर टू वन प्राइवेट बैंक हैव नॉट बीन डूइंग दैट ग्रेट फॉर लास्ट टू और थ्री ईयर्स सो आई वुड से टू थ्री बट इवेंचुअली दे विल बाउंस बैक फोर अंडर इंडिया माई रेटिंग वुड बी फाइव फोर सो यू इमीडिएटली सी अ ट्रेंड कमिंग इन ऑन हाउ द थ्री कोलिशन विल परफॉर्म एज ऑफ नाउ विद दीज मिनिमल रेटिंग द अनकलियर मैंडेट is not doing so well note that these are returns for you as an investor i am not talking about the country here what you should do where you should put money or where you will make money as per your beliefs your convictions construction and road have been doing really well in the current government they will continue however in the medium term i see a correction towards end also there will be a boom 5 to 5 5 to 5 typically when a major government change happens old builders go out of flavor new set of builders are favored by a new government one followed by a boom 4 and 5 road stocks also the builders will change this will present an opportunity if you can cite them 5 5 a lot of rural related spend will happen if the india government comes in that is why i have put 5 5 on the roads here rail stocks 5 because a lot of rural related trains will be announced rail stocks have done well in the current government also so i'll put 5 to 5 here also current government does not discourage it however there is no special status given to it either here i am talking about it stocks like infosys tcs wipro and so on i am not talking about government spend on it i am not talking about digitization of the country either 1 2 4 our it boom happened during the manmohan singh government time significantly so i'll put 4 4 and 5 here now just for example sake this is what i think bajaj group has erstwhile been congress camp so 5 5 5 all governments have some industrial groups as their favorites similarly if the bjp plus comes up then 5 4 5 for adani group now reliance group typically does not openly come out and support any government so even in india i would say 4 4 4 i would say 5 2 and 5 if bjp plus comes to here is a minor correction it is not that the government will not encourage this business but the valuation are already stretched if there is an unclear mandate there are lot of voices which are running after the adani group right now a lot of witch hunt might happen 1 1 2 tata group has always played defensive they have never directly supported any politics so 4 4 4 they will continue to grow at their own paces you could put a 3 also not too much of a difference will happen bajaj group 2 2 3 now current government will print a lot of money in my opinion 1 1 2 these cause a negative impact for you as an investor your returns may go up but the value of those returns will actually reduce the country does not do well when the currency is being printed i'm repeating currency printing will take the stock markets up but for you as an investor it is not good 3 2 1 the us government dollar printing has given this new belief to governments globally that they can get away with any amount of currency printing however us dollar is the only reserved currency in the world the countries like india will fall on their face if they print too much currency taxes i mentioned earlier that i expect the current government to increase the taxes 1 2 towards the end of the tenure 4 last budget they might reduce it they didn't reduce it this time so this may not happen next time also the unclear mandate guys will start with tax reductions populist move that will put a lot of money in the hands of people and can possibly kick start a boom same with india 5 2 2 eventually the taxes will increase the government will need money and taxes are the major sources of income for any government so this way the model builds up i'll now populate it with the values that i have in mind right now All right. These are the initial values. The average score is fifty-eight point five six. So BJP government coming to power, fifty-nine, just near the average score, forty-seven, which means in the medium term the returns will be lower than average, sixty-eight. In the longer run, the returns will be ten points higher than the average. In the unclear mandate, every possibility is lower than the average score. The results for you as an investor. are best in the case of india alliance now let me tune some parameters i personally feel that the country really needs fii investment we want dollars to come in right now for a strong economy i'll put a five weight here notice the graph changing on the right side the average score also increases to 71 now let's say defense stocks need a significant uptick with the china aggression right now 
we need to spruce up our defense let's say three you suddenly see the bjp line the orange one is creeping up suddenly now let's suppose we want to build a lot of roads for obvious reasons let me give a four let's say we want it stocks to do well because a lot of forex comes in via it let me give a five there suddenly the green line is moving up now reliance has a significantly large weightage on the nifty let me give a weightage of three to reliance not too much change now let's suppose we want to reduce the taxes that will put money in the hand of the common people let's take it to five so the graphs are changing rapidly the average score suddenly with these tunings is 120 so you could give higher weightage to the things that are more important to you as an investor note that this is not a political video it does not predict election result it does not support any specific party now we'll jump to the investment part so let's say 130 score is more than the average so i'll put a five here because if you are 90 percent invested a higher return from the stock market immediately will make a lot of money for you but if you are only 20 percent invested and the stock market runs up you will obviously lose money or not earn money so it's a two so a stable bjp government also there is a 104 though it is lower than the average score but still some stocks will run up a lot so i'll give a five here if you are 20 percent invested i'll give a two here now things change rapidly if you are invested 90 percent with unclear mandate you will have one because markets will crash you will lose money if you are 20 percent invested it will be a five because you'll have money in the hand you can invest in the crash 50 percent too so you'll lose some money you'll gain some money here if you have investable cash and a stable government you get a four here also if you have a stable government four now looking at 149 if you invest with 20 percent levels you get a five here same if you are 20 percent invested there is a stock market crash five here now i expect the markets to correct severely in the medium term i'm talking about the stocks that have run up a lot under the current government if same government comes to power there will be a medium to large crash if you are 50 percent invested two if you are not invested or 20 percent invested four because you'll have money in the hand and if you have money in the hand you get a five here and you get a four four here which means it will make more sense to have money right now if there is a crash coming up in the small to medium term now you already know your investment levels how much cash you have in hand you could assess for example if you feel bjp government will come to power and you are 90 percent invested in the short term you will do well if you don't exit you might lose some money if you are not invested the same government comes in the first one or two weeks maybe a month you will feel left back because a lot of parties will go on because some sector some stocks will be on fire you will feel you are losing out so two but if you invest your money well at that time you will win in the longer run more than people who are 90 percent invested because you will be investing when the markets fall hope this tool helps i'll share the link of this tool in the description below and also as a comment feel free to download it if you find anything wrong in the tool let me know in the comment section however i would not encourage a debate on my value of say one or five against a specific party you might have a different belief that's okay let's agree to disagree on that but let's all of us make a lot of money in the market irrespective whether you are a trader trying to make money out of the election results or a long-term or medium-term investor happy investing thanks for watching till the end best wishes to you and your portfolio i'll see you in the next video